I see why Digital Stream did this very early. They released Necros and Oberon Prime on the Prime Resurgence very, very early when it wasn't supposed to show up yet. Just yet. All right. We still had what, like 20, 10 more days until the next Prime Accessories showed up? Or sorry, not even Prime Accessories, just Prime Warframes. The next released, the next Unvault, and the Prime Resurgence to be next up. We weren't even there close. But since it was their 10 year anniversary, that's why the rotation ended up so early. So Necros and Oberon are now available. And, well, they also say alongside the current Mesa Prime and Limbo Prime rotation. But we definitely know they are not still available in the game. Because this is, this is up until April 6th. So how is that even possible? Mesa and Limbo Prime are still up. Which, I don't know, I I would say they're not, because we could check, but these relics have to be replaced with Necros and Oberon, so I would say no, they're not available. Alright, and then April 6th, till the April 6th of when Necros and Oberon are still out, you have going to be next is mag prime which you see their names at the bottom right here all right so that will be starting april 6th without the bonus of necros and oberon offerings so they will be leaving april 6th then may 19th to june 2nd obviously may 19th that'll be ending and the next rotation will be said later of course after that so they planned it out for you guys of course and this was very unexpected again we didn't even get a hey we're actually releasing these warframes sometime around the march 25th because that's when they put up the post uh so yeah that was very very unexpected and you know you would expect digital to post something about them releasing something first before even releasing it so yeah like i said very unexpected and they actually did it they actually kept mesa prime and level prime pack in here so you still have all of the relics there's a lot and that means mesa prime and level prime relics are still in here which it says of course limited time which has to be Okay, that's going to be Necros and Oberon stuff. And then, yep, Limbo Prime and Mesa Prime stuff are separate. Well, nice, Digital That was really nice. And then, of course, next up will be Mag Prime and uh, Rhino Prime. Now, moving on to, to not make this video very long, we are going to be talking about the Prime accessories coming with Necros and Oberon Prime. So, we have the UR Prime Cyan Donna. And the Acanthus Prime Armor Set, all right, which came out with Necros Prime. And then Oberon Prime has the Zukaira Prime Sayandana and the Oroka Prime Sugatra. Now, don't think I pronounced this one right, but the other one it could be on point. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. And actually, just to clarify, we're actually going to take a look at the best accessories not just all of them. I'm going to show you one of the best, which is out right now. It's Necros Prime Accessories. Necro Prime, of course, has the Acanthus Prime chest plates, the shoulder and the le uh, leg guard as well. Um, and these, these are one of the best, best accessories of all time. That's actually available right now with this new release. Um, yeah, so these accessories, amazing. These sharp, um, spiky uh, armor sets are actually really amazing. Really, really amazing. Like, you need to get your hands on these. They are actually really cool. Um, you know, 
put it on a warframe, try to find whatever looks really good. Like these are these are some armor sets that um, I would say put on warframes that aren't able to like fit any other type of accessory on them, like something that is has a plate or uh, yeah something that's too big to fit. These as uh, guards are actually like really nice to put on the shoulders. Like some warframes block, you know, different other, let's just say plates from being put on the warframe. So the guards are actually the better pick to put on a warframe. The ones that are like that, that block that uh shoulder for both. So yeah, it just makes it look weird. And yeah, it just makes the armor set look off. So yeah, I can't this. Definitely one of the best prime armor sets we have right now out in the game. And definitely you should go pick these up. Then you have the Cyan Donna Yule Prime. Oh, really amazing Cyan Donna. Gotta get your hands on this one. I love this one. Alright. The just the, the really cool prime effect. The colors, the just that flow of energy. The cool, amazing effect to that is really, really amazing. It's honestly on point. Uh, definitely one of my top. Hmm. I would say. Cause I, I don't know. I can't even think of what would be my number one prime. Uh, Cyan Donna that I really like. I mean, Misa I guess would be number one, but I think I might have to switch out the Euro Prime. Because the Euro Prime has been a lot of my favorite, honestly. Like, I've been using this a lot. Like, really a lot on my Warframe. So, yeah, I'm going to have to say Euro Prime is number one for me now. Because it, this is just a damn good sign, Donna. I, I just, I could not wait to get my hands on the Prime accessories for Necros. When, um, when he was available, right? When they didn't ever do the Prime Resurgence thing. When he came available, I purchased it right away because I knew this was my only chance to get the hands on it. Or get my hands on it. And, uh, yeah, I got it. <sighs> really amazing. Like, guys, definitely get your hands on this amazing sign down. It looks freaking fantastic. Number one favorite of mine. These armor sets also have a efficiency. Or not efficiency. Hmm. Figure out the word. It does have a cool effect to it. But what channeling? There we go. Energy channeling. Is that what it's called? So I'm going to use the Galantine Prime to energy. Show you the energy channeling to this. Um, and yeah. Surprising. I, it's funny that I'm using the Galantine Prime because that's his signature weapon. And there you have it. That's what it does. So you can see from the left to the right shoulder. That's what it does. So pretty cool effect you have to it. And let me know what you guys think about these Prime Armor sets in the comments below. Uh, if you picked them up or not, or if you're going to, or do you like them? Do they look really amazing to you? Like, yeah. Can I show you a really good Prime accessories here? Because I thought it was. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thank you.